Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. Bearing all my sin and shame, with love you came and gave amazing grace. Thank you for this love, Lord. Thank you for your nail pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing blood. Now all I know, your forgiveness and embrace. Worthy is the Lamb, seated on your throne. We crown you now with many Darling of heaven, crucified, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb. Crown you now with many crowns. You reign victorious. I am lifted up. I am lifted up. Jesus, Son of God. Jesus, Son of God. The darling of heaven. The darling of heaven, crucified. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We come before you with our hearts open to you. We come before you in a name that sits above every name. The name Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for this day that you have made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. We thank you for every person that has joined us here in the sanctuary of the Greater Refuge Temple of Christ. Those that have logged in online. We honor you. We bless you. We thank you on this communion Sunday that we can declare that your blood has made us whole. We are thankful for your gospel, the good news of your life, your death, your burial, and resurrection. We come before you believing that you are yet soul-saving God. Deliverance set free today. Let no one leave. Let no one log off the same way they log in. But let your glory be revealed and healed from the inside out. Lift every bird and turn every midnight into day. For we adore you. We glorify you. We exalt you in the beauty of holiness. For you are the Lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the world. And we bless you. We exalt you. We extol you. We lift your name on high. Come on, every believer, begin to praise him. Begin to lift him up with great expectation and anticipation that God is with us. The Lamb of God has healed us and set us free. And he is worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of the praise. Worthy of the glory. Worthy of the honor. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's lift his name on high. Worthy is, worthy is 
Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh, come on, you can do better than that. We welcome you once Hallelujah. again to the sanctuary of the Greater Refuge Temple of Christ. We thank God for those of you that have logged in. We have come to praise the Lord on this Holy Communion Sunday. We're encouraging you to remain until, hallelujah, the message is over. We will serve Holy Communion. We will honor what Jesus Christ did on Calvary's cross for our sins in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, let's bless the Lord today. Did you come to bless the Lord? Hallelujah. Oh, come on, let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, invite your neighbor. Tell him, come on, let's bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, he's worthy. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, come on, hallelujah. Let's bless the Lord. Let's bless him. Let's honor him today. Come on. Son of man, come on. Son of man, son of righteousness, king of the earth for sinners slain. Oh, I was lost, I was lost. I was lost in darkness found. Ransom my heart and I will see my strength, my strength, my deliverer, the one who rescued me, my hope, my redeemer, the one that set me free. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Oh my soul, 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 son of man, son of man, son of righteousness, king of the earth, king of the earth, for sin. Oh, I was lost, I was lost, I was lost in darkness, my ransom my heart, and I will see. Come on, you are my strength, my deliverer, the one who rescued me, my hope, my hope. My Redeemer, the one that set me free. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Come on, worship the Lord right there. Hallelujah. Come on, bless him in the name of the Lord. Come on. In the splendor of his majesty. How many know that he's holy? Come on. In the splendor of your majesty. For me with them I seriously holy. holy. In the splendor. In the splendor of your majesty. For me with them I seriously holy. 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 Oh, holy, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul, bless the Lord, oh my soul. Come on, bless him today. Come on, how many know that he's holy? How many know he's worthy? Come on, he's the king of the earth. How many know that his name is Jesus? Hallelujah. Oh, come on, he's worthy. He's worthy of the praise. Come on, bless him right now. Lift your hands and praise him. Because the Son of Man died for you and me. 
the son of man was nailed with driven in his hands and feet for you and me nailed to a rugged cross oh come on bless it hallelujah oh hallelujah hallelujah glory to god come on bless the lord hallelujah Hallelujah. Come on, lift your hands right there. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within me blesses. Will you help me sing it? Come on. Oh, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. And all that is within. His holy name. Bless His holy name. Oh, but He has done great things. If you believe it, come on, sing this praise with us. Oh, He has done. He has done great things. He has done great things. Bless that name. Come on, how many want to celebrate that name? How many want to honor that name? Oh, I love Jesus. He's my Savior. When storms are raging, He's my shelter. Oh, where He leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus. He loves me. At your head, oh, I love Jesus. He's my Savior. When storms are raging, He's my shelter. Oh, where He leads me, I will follow. Oh, I love Jesus. Come on, He loves me. Come on, I love, I love the Lord. I love the Lord, and I won't take it back. I love the Lord. I said, and I won't take it back. 
Come on, let's glorify his name. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody know he's been good to you on this week. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together and praise him. And if you believe he's good, sing this praise with me. Oh, God is a good God. Yes, he is. I say God is a good God. Yes, he is. I know God is a good God. Yes, he is. Oh, my God is a good God. Yes, he is. 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 I said, God is a good God. Yes, he is. I know God is a good God. Yes, he is. Oh, my God is a good God. Yes, he is. I know God is a good God. Yes, he Come on, here we go. Is. Yes, he 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 is. Somebody knows it. Come on, testify to yourself and say he is a good God. Oh, come on. Put your hand over your heart and say, God been good to me. Look over to your neighbor. I say, no, you know God's been good to you. Tell your neighbor, you know God's been good to you. Oh, hallelujah. He's not becoming a good God. He is a good God. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's praise him this morning. Hallelujah. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. Come on. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. Come on. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. Come on. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. Come on, put those hands together. come to do but but I come to praise his name I don't know what you come to do but I come to wave my hand I don't know what you come to do but I come to shout for joy I don't know what you come to do but I come to bless his name I don't know what you come to do but I come to fellowship with you I don't know what you come to do but I come to hear the word oh hallelujah I don't know what do you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I said, I don't know what do you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. Listen, I come to clap my head. 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 I come to stomp my feet. I come to stomp my feet. I come to give him praise. I come to give him praise. I don't know what are you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I, said, I don't know what are you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. I said, I don't know what are you come to do. I don't know what you come to do. Oh, come on, put your hands right there and give God the praise. Come on. I'll give you a moment. Come on, rejoice in the beauty of holiness. We come to glorify the name of our God. Come on, he's worthy. He's worthy of the praise. I can tell that some of you came to praise him. I can tell that some of you love the Lord. I can tell that some of you got an unconditional, unrestricted, uninhibited praise. Oh, come on, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. In Sunday, and we have come to rejoice. Come on, celebrate Jesus. 
Come on, lift your hand and say, he's, he's been just that good to me. Just that good. Lift your hand and say, he's been just that good to me. Oh, come on, say it one more time. He's been, he's been just that good to me. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for his presence. We thank God for victory in the name of the Lord. Victory is mine. Victory is yours this morning in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it one more time. He's been just that good to me. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of the Almighty God if you can. We're so glad to be in the house of worship one more time. We thank God for those that have joined us virtually. We're going to hook up together online and in person. And it's one church, one voice. And we've come to glorify the name of the Almighty God. God in Jesus name hallelujah glory to his name glory to his name hallelujah so glad to be here Lord God just want to remind you to be in Bible study this coming Wednesday uh, for prayer and Bible study from 6 to 7 o'clock glory to God we are going to continue on our study of the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and we trust that this week we'll get to some information on the last thing the last things the last things, the things that are going to take place before the coming of the Lord. And we want to continue to teach on this subject so that the church is rapture ready. How many are going back with Jesus? Oh, come on. If you're going back with Jesus, give them a hand praise. And we want to teach on this subject matter in the name of the Lord until the Lord tells us to stop. We want you to remember in the name of the Lord, Elder Leonard Marshall, in your prayers, he, he lost his aunt and he uh, went to... Uh, lay her to rest and we want you to intercede and pray for him we want you to pray for our apostle james may the new presider of the church of our lord jesus christ we want you to keep him in your prayers and want to remind you that on the 28th of this month is t-shirt sunday and some of you uh noted online that you got your t-shirt so you don't you don't have to have one to come to service don't let me dish it we're just inviting you to do so you know to just share on that t-shirt that you are a believer that you have faith in in god glory to god and uh, we have we use a t -sh these t-shirts to witness we want someone to ask us about our lord and savior jesus christ ask us about salvation so on the end of this month the last sunday of this month which I believe is the 28th. We want to wear those t-shirts as unto the Lord in Jesus' name. I'm so glad to be in the house of worship one more time, praising and magnifying the Lord. I believe we didn't come to church for nothing. I believe we came, hallelujah, because we love the Lord. And how many know that if you bless God, he'll bless you back? In the name of the Lord, hallelujah. The Bible says that the Lord in, inhabits, he's so, in faith, he's so faithful to inhabit, to reside in the praises of his people. Glory to God. And I'm so glad to be before you, and I'm not going to take any more time. I'm going to go straight to the word of the almighty God that we serve. I'm going to ask you to turn with me to 1 Peter, the first chapter the 18th through the 19th verse. First Peter, the first chapter, the 18th through the 19th verse. Would you stand with me in the reading of God's word? Just those two scriptures, glory to God, on this communion Sunday. Those of you that are online, I want you to remain logged in. I want you to uh, grab your elements because we'll be uh, serving Holy Communion immediately after the message. So we want you to be mindful that we will be remembering what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did for us on Calvary's cross. So remain logged in and those that are in the sanctuary, you stay in the sanctuary and we are going to eat from the Lord's table in Jesus name. Glory to God. So bow your heads with me. I hope you have 1 Peter 1, 18 through 19. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before you this morning. We ask you to speak to us through your word. Let your word have free course. Let your word 
touch someone's heart to come to know you as Lord and Savior. Lord God, we pray for those that may be sick. We pray for those that may be bound. But Lord, let this word release something in their spirit to bring about victory, to bring about freedom, to bring about transformation in the life of the unbeliever and to bring about a fresh wind to those that believe that you are who you say you are, our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Deliverer, our God. And beside you, there is none other. That let your word once again speak to us in the name of the Lord that we'll be a better man, a better woman, a better boy, a better girl for you. Everything that you have called and ordained us to be, we declare that it will come to pass as we respond to your word. In Jesus' name, let every heart say amen and amen. First Peter the first chapter and the 18th verse, we find these words. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversations received by traditions from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. And in my continuation of the series, The Lion and the Lamb, I want you to think about the subject as we have read these verses from 1 Peter 1, 18 and 19. I want you to say this with me. Matter of fact, say it to your neighbor. Look over to them and say, you have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, come on. Tell somebody. Give them that good news. Tell, testify to them. Tell them you've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Come on. Testify to them one more time and say, I have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. One more time. Say, I have been redeemed. By the blood of the Lamb. Come on, let's make it let's make it collective and say we have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Come on, that's some good news. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, you may be seated in the presence of God if you can, but but somebody knows this morning that you have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb on this. Communion Sunday morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you have been redeemed. Ah, the scripture lets us know that the redeemed of the Lord say so. Say something about it. Tell the world about it. Once were lost, but, but now I'm found. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, glory to God. The world don't like it, but we've been redeemed. By the blood of the Lamb. Redemption is a part of the believer's testimony. Our redemption is why we love the Lord as much as we do. Uh, when we think about redemption, it, it gives us, glory to God, the, the reason why we praise him for who he is. Uh, we worship him for, for we, we praise him for who he is and what he has done. We worship him in, in spirit and in truth. Because no matter how hard the enemy wants to destroy you, he knows that you've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. Over the course of the last several weeks, we've talked about the lion and the lamb and how Jesus is, is his, his character, his attributes are, are integrated into the lion and the lamb. And we have to know that when we talk about the lamb, we have to talk about blood. We have to be mindful that the Bible is a bloody book. We find blood from Genesis to Revelation. And the world might not understand why we make such a fuss over 
blood. If you didn't have understanding, you would think that we were some kind of masochists or we enjoyed pain, but that the world does not understand when we say there is power in the blood. There, there is love in the blood. There, there is joy in the blood. There is hope in the blood. There is victory in the blood. But at the end of the day, we have been redeemed by the blood. How many can say, I've been redeemed? Uh, we've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. And when we talk about the word redeem, we, we talk about a ransom. We talk about the release on a receipt of a ransom, glory to God, to liberate someone, glory to God, through a payment. And we have to realize that, that Jesus paid for our sins on Calvary through his blood. Well, Peter tells us, glory to God, for as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things. I want you to put a pin in that. We have not been redeemed by things that are temporal, the things of this world, but we've been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. The blood of the lamb was designed to cover our sins. And I want to say to somebody that Jesus is our atoning redeemer. He covered our Yes. He, he covered our issues. He, he covered our mistakes. He, he covered our weaknesses. He, he covered our frailties. He covered our iniquities. He covered our transgressions. Can somebody just lift their hand over your head and say, Jesus got me covered. Uh, well, Hebrews 9 and 22, Hebrews 9 and 22 says, And almost all things are by the law purged or cleansed with blood. And the Bible says, without the shedding of blood is no remission. There, there is a teaching out there, glory to God, by some theologians, glory to God, that would say that it wasn't the blood of Jesus Christ that poured out of his body that covered us. It was just the act alone. Well, that's a lie from the pit of hell because the scripture says without the shedding of blood. How many know you can beat someone up but no blood is shed? You could give somebody, glory to God, a good beat down, but, but they don't shed any blood. But we know that when Jesus laid down his life, we know that they whipped him all night long. They, they beat him until blood poured out of his body. And it was the blood, glory to God, that was poured out that covered you and me. We are not redeemed once again by material things, not by riches, not by a bank account, not by our position. We are not redeemed by fame and fortune. We are not redeemed by the power of mankind. But we have to know that the things of this world are temporary. Clothing is temporary. What you drive is temporary. What you live in is temporary. What you earn on your job is temporary temporary however redemption came through the sacrifice of the lamb of God can somebody say Jesus is that lamb Oh, I want you to remind you one more time that you have been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. I want to encourage someone right now that everything that you need is in the blood of the lamb. If you need healing, it's in the blood of the lamb. If you need pain relieved, it's in the blood of the lamb. If you need a problem solved, it's in the blood of the lamb. I want to remind you that corruptible things will break down. They will fade away. It's all right to have things, but don't let things have you. Oh, let me say it one more time. It's all right to have things, but don't let things have you. Nobody is bringing a piece of real estate to heaven. Nobody is bringing, glory to God, an SUV, a Mercedes Benz, a BMW, a Toyota, a Volkswagen, whatever you drive. It's not going to heaven. Your, your 401k, your, 40, your 403b is not going to heaven. Those things are corruptible. Yes, the Lord doesn't mind you having them on the earth, but just let you know that you're not bringing anything temporal to heaven and I want to say that stuff can't redeem us oh but the blood of the lamb 
lamb has redeemed us. First Peter 1, 4 and 5. First Peter 1, 4 and 5 says, To an inheritance incorruptible, undefiled, that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. Oh, glory to God. Can somebody say that's some good news? You have an inheritance reserved in heaven for you. Peter would go on to say that who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. The blood of Jesus has guaranteed us a spiritual inheritance. For Paul would write to the Romans that we are heirs and joint heirs with Christ. If you don't get an inheritance on this earth, if nobody leaves you in their will, you have an inheritance in glory. Can somebody give God a praise for that? Well, Peter would say, for as much as you know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold and vain conversation received by the tradition of men. I'm just going to get this out of the way. Silver and gold of value can be tied to it. Silver and gold is sold in ounces. Glory to God. So you can come up with a value. But what is the value of the blood of Jesus Christ? Oh, glory to God. We know that his blood was poured out. But sometimes I think about what could one drop of blood Oh, glory to God. You ought to praise the Lord in here. I mean, just one drop of blood, Minister Simmons, just, just one little speckle of Jesus' blood. How much damage could it do to the forces of hell? What, how much, how glory to God, could it cover in your life? You need to praise him for every drop of blood. Oh, the Lord of God. Well, the Bible goes on to say that, hallelujah, that it's not the silver and gold and we shouldn't be caught up in the conversation received, received by the tradition from your fathers. Let me say this. Tradition is oftentimes the belief of dead men. Some tradition just got to go. There's some things that, that are tradition that have nothing to do with the word of God. I don't mind tradition. I, I love traditional songs. They're some of the most powerful songs that we can sing. But there is some traditions that have nothing to do with the Bible. Oh, glory to God. There are some traditions that we just need to say. We just need to leave them alone and just Read the word of God and apply the word of God because it's a waste of time on things that are not going to lock you in to the power and the glory that God has for us. Mm, hallelujah. We have to know that, hallelujah, that Peter was exposing that there were some things that, that were traditional that we just don't need. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let me just give you an example of tradition. You are, you are sitting in tradition right now, and some of you don't even know it. If I said, for instance, as pastor, we are going to switch communion from the first Sunday to the fourth Sunday, some of y'all would lose your mind. <laughs> it's tradition. It's just a tradition that we have communion on first Sunday. Brother Mario? Right. But the Bible says as often as we do this, we show remembrance of him, but our traditions say here at Greater Refuge Temple. That is first Sunday. And if we had it on second Sunday, some of you would think that we were violating the word of God. But there is nothing in the Bible that says thou shalt have communion, communion service on first Sunday. It's just a tradition. Just to give you an example, I could expose a lot of others, but I'm going to leave them alone tonight, this morning. I'm going to leave them alone, but we have to be mindful. We have to lock into what the word of God says. So to get back to my thought, Jesus laid down his life. And we sing the song, you know, there's power in the blood, how precious the blood is. Why was his blood precious? Because no value could be placed on the blood of Jesus Christ. 
Once again, we reminded that the lamb laid down his life. Just like in the natural, as I shared with you on last week, the lamb does not fight the sharer when the sharer is removing the wool. The sharer pulls out that razor, begins to cut the, cut the wool off the lamb, and the lamb just sits there. Says, thank you, I'm going to grow some more hair. <laughs> and Jesus laid down his life. It, it, it gets under my fingernails when someone says he was assassinated. When someone says he was murdered. J Jesus said, I laid down my life and I got the power to take it up again. John 15 and 13 tells us, greater love have no man than this. That a man would lay down his life for his friends. Glory to God, he laid down his life. He took our place. Glory to God. He was our substitute. We should have hung on that cross. We deserve to be beaten beyond recognition. We deserve to carry the cross. We deserve to be spat upon and called out of our name. But he took our place. Can somebody give him a praise? Because he took our place as the Lamb of God. I'm almost done. First Timothy 2, 5, and 6. First Timothy 2, 5, and 6. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men. The man Christ Jesus who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but I got a testimony about the lamb. Anybody got a testimony about the lamb of God. Oh, glory to God. When the Lamb of God came into your life, you didn't think, glory to God, somebody could treat you that good. Glory to God. That's why when John the Baptist saw him, he said, behold the Lamb of God. After all my preaching, after all my teaching, here he is. And the fact that he's here, glory to God, he wants me to baptize him. He had a testimony. Oh, glory to God. But we have to realize what the blood of this lamb did for us. Don't take the blood of Jesus for granted. Oh, glory to God. Don't take the price that he paid for granted. I want to say right now, you des he deserves some praise right now for that blood that was shed. Glory to God. I come before you on the first Sunday. Every month. And in my traditional self. Let me see another tradition. See, let me, let me show you some other traditions. If I preach something that wasn't communion or wasn't about the blood specifically on communion Sunday, you'd have a problem with that. Because I'm traditional, I preach on the blood. That's all right. That's some good tradition, isn't it? Because I can't talk. It's hard for me, to, it's hard for me not to talk about the blood. It's hard for me not to talk about the price that Jesus paid. But you know if you pay attention, every Sunday I preach on Jesus. Every Sunday I got something to say about him. We can't wait till the first Sunday to talk about the blood. We got to talk about the blood every time we have an opportunity. We have to be mindful as I'm trying to talk to you this morning. There's only one gospel. And it speaks of the life, the death, the burial. The resurrection of our Lord and Savior. But we have to realize that in the times in which we live in this new age movement, in this accommodating movement, glory to God, in this inclusion movement, there's a lot of gospel that is bloodless. A lot of gospels that are made up that are Christless. A gospel that has no future. A gospel that doesn't speak of eternity with God. A gospel that says you can do whatever you feel like doing. Oh, it's getting quiet in here. A gospel that doesn't require you to respond to the word of God. You can make up your own ideas and have reformed Christianity. Let me tell you, there is no reformed Christianity. There's only one type of Christianity. And that's the Christianity that is centered around the word of God. Oh, glory to God. We have to know 
that when Paul said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, you have to notice he called it the gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel of the lamb. The gospel of the lion of the tribe of Judah. The gospel of the Messiah. The gospel of the one that they called the Christ, the anointed one. The gospel of the one that they called Emmanuel that said God is with us. The gospel that says he suffered, bled, and died. Can anybody just praise Jesus for the gospel? gospel is about him and we have to know that when we talk about the blood of the lamb we have to know what the blood of the lamb has done for you and for me the blood atoned us it covered us from the penalty and the bondage of sin the blood delivered us oh you ought to praise the lord right now it was the blood that delivered you it was the blood that remitted your sins to go on a little bit further the blood restored you how many know anything about restoration oh you were jacked up before you met the lamb but when you met the lamb he turned the situation around around for you and restored you oh glory to God can somebody say I've been restored oh glory to God because I've been redeemed the blood re preserved us the blood preserved our lives the Lord waited on you the rapture could have came but when the blood came it preserved you how many know that God waited on you every believer in here the rapture could have came but God waited on me point to yourself and say God waited on me Oh, glory to God, the blood cleansed us. Before we met the lamb, we were dirty from the inside out. I don't care what side of the tracks that you were born on. I don't care if you wear white every day. You were dirty from the inside out, but the blood cleanse you oh you ought to praise the lord and, and declare i'm clean by the blood of the lamb purified you disinfected your life oh you ought to praise the lord in here see the reason why people don't understand how you change they don't know that you've been washed by the blood of jesus christ oh i think about that song are you washed in the blood in the soul cleansing blood of the lamb you like it when I do that, Sister Sanders, don't you? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood? Oh, the land. I'm supposed to be preaching, right? Okay, I'm going to preach. The blood sanctified you. The blood set you aside. The blood made you unique. You're not better than anybody else. But because of the blood, the Lord set you aside for his use. He said because you've been washed in the blood, you can't hang around everybody. You can't do everything. You can't join every club. Oh, glory. You can't join every organization you've got to be set aside for his use because the blood has the power to make you over again it has the power to make you brand new the blood had the power to heal us has anybody been healed oh by the power of the blood does anybody got a testimony of divine healing? Uh, the stripes that Jesus bore on his back, you can say by his stripes. Uh, we are. We are healed. I want to say that the blood of Jesus, as precious as it is, it's perfect, it's untainted blood. It, it was the requirement that was needed, and Jesus' blood was the only blood that was going to qualify to cover our sins. Let me remind you that Israel's redemption from Egyptian bondage would require, would require the blood of an animal, the paschal lamb. And we have to be mindful that we no longer have to slaughter an animal 
all because Jesus became the perfect or perpetual sacrifice for our sins. The blood of the Lamb of God delivered us once again. The blood of the Lamb of God set us free. So we have to know once again when Jesus is referred as the Lion of Judah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And the lamb, we see him not only as a conquering king, because he is a conquering king of all of our enemies. Every enemy will be conquered when Jesus returns. But we also have to know that he is the sacrificial lamb of God who took away the reproach of sin. Oh, glory to God from his people. And we have to share this victory with all all men as I close I want to say to you you have been delivered you have been set free by the blood of the lamb you have been redeemed by the blood of the lamb of God glory to God is something that you should be excited about have you been redeemed just give him all the glory and the praise in the name of Jesus realize that this lamb wasn't weak but this lamb had strength strength. This lamb brought victory to us and we have received the revelation over the last three or four weeks that Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh glory to God. He is the lamb of God that was slain before the foundation of the world and our testimony this morning is we have been redeemed by the blood of the lamb. You don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Oh glory to God. Jesus loosed my shackles as the song says and he set me free. Come on somebody say let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Everybody that know you've been redeemed of the Lord just give God the praise. No matter how you feel this morning make the devil mad and say I've been redeemed. My week wasn't the best but I've been redeemed. Glory to God they talked about me. My family wouldn't accept my deliverance but I have been redeemed. I'm going through some physical issues but I have been redeemed. You may be going through some mental issues but I have been redeemed. Glory to God it may feel like at times that the odds are against you but look at yourself in the mirror and say I have been redeemed oh the Lord of God you need to know that Jesus he didn't go to the cross for nothing he didn't go to the cross to show off he came to redeem mankind to bring mankind back to himself oh come on let the redeemed of the Lord say so glory to God let the redeemed of the Lord shout to the hills and say I've been redeemed when was the last time you praised God not because you got a car not because you got a raise on your job not because you got a good report from the doctor but just because you know you've been redeemed you know that the ransom was paid oh come on give God the praise and tell your neighbor you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me Jesus loosed my shackles and he set me free oh glory to God hallelujah the games I used to play I don't play no more. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Where are the men of God that have been redeemed? Where are the women of God that have been redeemed? Where are the families that have been redeemed? Come on, testify. I'm somebody because I've been redeemed. Oh, give God the praise in this place. Oh, the Lord of God. Glory to God. He's worthy. We're getting ready to eat from the Lord's table. But can we just take a few moments and give God the praise? You've been redeemed by the precious blood 
of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. He loved you that much to redeem you. He didn't pull your report card. He didn't tell you how bad you used to be. Glory to God. He didn't expose your weaknesses. But he said, let me take you and cover you with my precious blood every drop of blood was for your victory every drop of blood was for your healing every drop of blood is so you can rejoice that eternal life everlasting life belongs to you if you're feeling bad right now I declare it won't always be like this lay hands on yourself and say the blood has made me whole lay hands on yourself and say I'm healed from the inside out oh, let the redeemer of the Lord say so you don't know like I know what he's done for me Jesus loosed my shackle and he set me free the games I used to play I don't play no more the places I used to hang out I don't hang no more let the redeem let the redeem the, the Lord Say so, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, let the redeemed, let the redeemed of the Lord come on, say so, say so, come on, let the redeemed, let the redeemed of the Lord come on, say so, say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord let him say so so let the redeemed of the Lord let him say say so so you don't know like I know come on what he's done for me come on Jesus lose my shackles Jesus loose my shackle. Come on. And he set me free. Come on. The games I used to play. I don't play no more. I don't play no more. Come on. The folks I used to hang with. Come on. Come on. I don't hang no more. Come on. Let the redeem. Let the redeem. believer that knows you've been redeemed oh come on say so oh hallelujah hallelujah I've been redeemed I've been redeemed come on I've been redeemed I've been redeemed I've been Come on, if that's you, 
Put your hand together and praise him. Oh, let him say so. You got to speak it. You got to tell it. You got to share it. That this blood of the lamb means something to you. We got to test to anybody that doesn't believe in the blood of the lamb is going to be lost. But how many are glad you have a testimony that you've been covered by the blood? Good to see you, Demario. You look good today, man. You look like you've been covered by the blood of the lamb. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God. He was baptized in Jesus' name about a month or so ago. Glory to God. Looked like God doing some good things in his life. Hallelujah. We're going to prepare ourselves, spirit, soul, and body to eat from the Lord's table. I trust that you have received the word of God. You are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. I know I didn't do Hezekiah Walker's song justice this morning, but you don't know like I know what he's done for me. Jesus loosed my shackles and he set me free. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So we are about to Observe Holy Communion. I want you to get your elements ready. Would you do that? You should have received your elements when you came in. Glory to God. We want to do this reverently as unto the Lord. We want to do this with a heart of worship. A heart that is full of remembrance of what Jesus did for us on Calvary. When God has been good to you, you should show some signs. When God has been good to you, you should show some sign. I know we have some worshipers in here, some praisers in here. But don't be a mummy if you don't have to. Unwrap yourself and recognize that God has been just that good. I don't want to digress too much, but when I look at the news and I see what's happening in our world and they're attributing a lot of this heat and these fires and these floods to global warming. But when you watch someone's house just swept away, Someone's home burned to the ground. Someone loses all of their worldly goods. And we're sitting on our couch, sitting at the kitchen table. And we come to church collectively and you don't offer no praise on your own. You need me and, me, me and Brother Johnson to pump you to praise God. But there's a song that says, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Praise God for saving me. Just a reminder, just a reminder, God doesn't need your praise, but we owe him praise. He's got a host of angels that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 
30 days out of the month, 31 in some instances, worshiping and praising him. But I don't know about you, I think I want to join in because when I go to heaven, Oh, I, I, I'm just wondering. I'm, I'm just wondering when some people that don't praise God when they get to heaven, they're going to say, I don't do that. Could you imagine? I don't do that. Our fellowship and our worship on earth, if we do it right, We'll see just a little bit of it. Oh, glory to God. Listen, 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 listen. The most cool brother, the most sophisticated sister, you should be able to forget how cool you are and how sophisticated you are and think about where you could have been if it had not been for the blood of the Lamb. Oh, glory to God. Let me remind you, there's nothing that this preacher will put on his body that he won't praise God in. There ain't no suit that I could put on. There ain't no tie that I could put on. There ain't no robe that I could put on that I won't praise God in. Because I realize where I could be if it had not been for the blood of the... I feel like praise him and talk hallelujah. Oh, glory to God, Sister Simmons, get it in. In the name of the Lord, we need to pray. We have to pray the worship leaders over here. Come on, give God the glory because we are... Grateful for what the Lamb of God. Oh, hallelujah. I'm trying to take, I'm trying to get to Holy Communion, but I'm thinking about how good the Lord has been to you and me. Greater Refuge Temple, we're still here after all we've been through. We're still here in the midst of a pandemic. We're still here. We give God the glory because we're still here because of the blood of the Those of you online, remain logged in. We're about to take Holy Communion. But we want you to know that you're a part of this service. Would you join in the praise with us? Don't log off because God's got a blessing just for you. Let the people praise him. Let the people glorify him. Let the people bless God because the blood of the Lamb means something to you and me. Why not praise? Why not dance? Why not clap your hands? Why not rejoice? Why not exalt him? Why not adore him? Why not extol him? Why not praise him? Why not bless him? He's been just that good. Lord, say so. I've taught you. I've preached to you. Now it's time to rejoice over the word of God. It's time to rejoice because you know that the word confirmed that you have been redeemed, that you have been set free, that Jesus paid the ransom with his own blood. He laid down his life so we could have life and that we could have it more abundantly our testimony is that we have been redeemed by the blood of the lamb we have been defended of the lion of the tribe of judah the offspring of david his name is Jesus, our Savior, our 
Lord I sure come and keep let the redeem of the Lord say so to God. Ooh, there's a praise in the sanctuary. There's a, there's a spirit of worship in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 For all you've done. Thank you, Jesus. For all, for all, for all, for all you've done. Five, who have believed our report and to whom will the arm of the Lord is revealed for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground he hath no form nor comeliness and when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him he is despised and rejected of men man of sorrow acquainted with grief and we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He, Jesus, was despised, and we esteemed him not. Surely he, Jesus, hath borne our sorrows, borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he, Jesus, was wounded for our transgressions. He. Jesus was bruised for our iniquities. 
the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. Father, we thank you and we praise your holy, awesome, mighty, marvelous name. We thank you, God, for this opportunity to partake of holy communion. We thank you for your broken body. We thank you for your shed blood. As we consume the elements of communion, we declare that we are healed of every sickness, every disease, every pain, every, Lord God, issue, whether it be in the spirit realm, the soulish realm, in the body, in the emotions, in the psyche, in our psyche, Lord. Heal it, Lord God. Heal of every physical, mental, emotional sickness. It is covered by the power of your blood. We thank you and we praise you. Bless the elements of communion. Consecrate them, purify them as we consume them in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the power of your word. Without shedding blood, there is no remission of sin. And we glorify your name. We thank you for the price that you paid on the cross for us. Your body was nailed, hands and feet. Crown of thorns placed on your head. Spear thrown in your side. And Lord God, we give you thanks and we give you praise. For everything that we need is found in your blood. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, those under the sound of my voice, in person and online, repeat after me. Lord, forgive me of all of my sins, the sin of commission and the sin of omission. Let me pause right here. The sin of commission are the things that God told you to do and you didn't do them. The sin of omission are the things that God said, don't do. And you did it anyway. Lord, forgive me. Repeat with me. Lord, forgive me of all of my sins. The sin of commission and the sin of omission. Count me worthy to partake of the elements of of communion. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. As we prepare to partake of Holy Communion, we're not just consuming the elements in a ceremony or in a religious ritual. This is the instructions of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He said, as often as you do this, you show remembrance of me, the price that he paid on Calvary for you and me. We are connected to the elements. There are healing in the elements as we connect our faith and I want you, as you consume it, to declare that you are healed. I don't care what the situation is. It's under the blood. I don't care how hard the problem is. It's under the blood. I don't care what the di there's negative diagnosis is. It's under the blood. Jesus' name. And we believe that there's power in the blood. So I'm believing right now. Someone is going to leave here before the benediction healed from the inside out. But I don't want you to take the elements of communion recklessly. I want you to think about what you're doing. I want you to think about Jesus. I want you to think about the price that he paid. I want you to think about what they did to him before and while he was on the cross. 
The Bible says that his legs were not broken when he hung there. His legs were not broken because they wanted him to suffer as long as possible. They broke the legs of the other victims, but they didn't break Jesus' legs because they wanted him to experience that pain. He did it for you. He did it for me. On the same night in which our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was betrayed, he took bread and he broke it and he said, take, eat, but this is my body, which is broken for you. The broken body of our Lord, eat it all in Jesus' name. And after the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood that was shed for the remission of sin. Somebody's going to leave here healed. I said, somebody's going to leave here healed. The blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Drink it all in Jesus' name. Declare your healing right now. Declare your healing right now. Come on, declare your healing. When you know that you've been healed, come on, just begin to rejoice. Come on. Come on. Come on, bless him right now. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, come on. Bless him, bless him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Awesome ruler. Gentle redeemer. God with us, the living truth. And what a friend we have in you. You are the living word, bread of heaven, sent down from glory. Many things you were on earth, a holy king, a carpenter. what we call you, manger born but on a tree, you died to save humanity, you are the living word, Jesus, Jesus, that's what we call you. spiritual consciousness to the Lord. He's the living word. I don't want nobody but him. Nothing else. Nothing else will do but Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Lift your hands with me and just say this to the Lord. Just listen. 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 I just want you Nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. 
I just want nothing else, nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want nothing else, nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else will do. I just want nothing else. Nothing else, nothing else will do. I just want, oh, I just want the Lord. I just want the Lord, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I just want Jesus. I just want my Savior. We have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. At this time, we thank God for this time of celebration, this time of memory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's not dead, he's yet alive. Hallelujah, and we are grateful. This time we want to worship the Lord in our giving. Hallelujah. And I want you to prepare by sewing on the platforms that are available. You can sign on to givelify.com. See it on the screen. Or you can sign on to grtchurch.org. And you can give on those platforms. We ask that you would pay your tithes and give in the offering. So into the vision of the strength to strive. I want you to give your strength to strive seed, $500 seed, to be concluded by the 27th of November. And we ask that you would sow bountifully today. We want to thank God for those of you that sow by mailing in your seed, as well as dropping off your tithing and offering to the church office. We welcome those that are online to click on that PayPal link, and you can sow uh, that way um, as unto the Lord and then we believe that as we sow, as we bless the house of God he'll bless our individual houses, he'll bless us not only in our body but in our spirit and in our soul every aspect of our lives can be God giving no matter how hard we try and we know that God gave his very best his only begotten son Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. So I'm going to ask you to sow bountifully this morning. If you haven't been giving, I want you to try God on this communion Sunday morning. And I'm going to also ask you, we're going to go back to giving that communion offering, that $10 seed, just for communion Sunday. We take this Sunday seriously. Not that we take it any other Sunday is taken any more seriously than this Sunday, but it's just something about communion that gives us a reminder collectively of all that the Lord has done for us. So I'm asking you to sow today. Practice the God-given principle of tithing. Glory to God and giving the Lord an offering according to how he has blessed you. Don't tip God, but be a blessing in Jesus name and I want to thank you all as I do every Sunday all the givers we thank you for being consistent in your giving seeing showing your support and uh, consciousness that the church needs you to sow the ministry needs you to sow and we thank you for those God that have gone above and beyond but I'm asking you to do something today every person so something today. Will you sow with us in Jesus' name? You can't, may not be able to do it while you're here. Do it when you get home. Do it when uh, you have an opportunity uh, throughout 
of the week. You can sow your tithes on the way out if you've taken a tithe envelope. And we believe that whatever God has given us to do, I'm declaring that every need in the ministry, every upgrade that we need to do is already done in Jesus' name. Can somebody say it's already done? Bow your heads with me. Father, we thank you and we praise you for those that are sowing right now, those that desire to but could not. And I believe that you're going to give them an opportunity because it's in their heart to do so. Lord God, let us all take collective responsibility in taking care of the household of faith and what goes along with it. Lord, we believe that you will supply our need and provide the resources that are needed to move forward as a ministry that we continue to see souls saved, souls encouraged, burdens lifted, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we know that you will bless us, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. We know that you have been faithful over, Lord God, the course of our lives, and you have kept us, you have blessed us, you have, Lord God, been faithful to us, and showered us with your grace and your mercy, and we say thank you in the name of Jesus, and I declare that every need and every household is met. As we delight ourselves in you, we know that you'll give us the very desires of our hearts. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Let everyone say amen and amen. Repeat after me, this is my tithe. I give it as an expression of my covenant with God. It is a reflection of my love, honor, and obedience. I declare that the windows of heaven are open and blessings will flow in my life. I will never be broke. I reject poverty. I embrace prosperity. I thank God. I am a tither. I thank God. I am a giver. In Jesus' name, let the church say, Before we leave today, if there's anyone under the sound of my voice that does not know who Jesus Christ is in the pardon of your sins, those that are online, Lord of God, that we are including you as well, I want you to come to the altar, Lord of God, and let us touch and agree with you. If you do not know who the Lord is, if you don't know that you're going back in the rapture when the Lord comes, we want you to come to the altar. Scripture tells us to repent, to turn in godly sorrow to the Lord with a heart of repentance, the heart that says, Lord, I'm willing to turn away, 180 degree turn away from my old life toward Jesus Christ. It says to be baptized. The word baptism means to be buried. It means burial. It means to be submerged and if you desire to be baptized, you are saying that you believe in Jesus Christ, in his death and burial, coming up out of the water, symbolizing the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, the promise is you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, according to Acts 2 and 4, with the evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God gives the utterance. I want you to come to this altar and say, Lord, come into my life. Set me free, heal me, deliver me from the inside out. You're, you're saying to the Lord, I recognize I'm a sinner and I need help. And I'm on my way, glory to God, to hell without you. But I want to see you face to face. So we're giving you this time to come in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I give you a moment in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just come to the altar at this time. Now, if there's anybody... Lord of God, under the sound of my voice, you need healing in your body. It's not a toothache. It's not a headache. You need healing in your body. I want you to come to the altar right now. Just come to the altar. In Jesus' name, I'm going to close in prayer. Glory to God. If you need a healing in your body, glory to God. You need a miracle. You stand in, a, stand in need of a miracle from God. I just want you to stand at this altar right now. Just come, glory to God. And as you walk, glory to God, I'm saying it's already done, that the healing of God is already taking place 
in the name of Jesus. Come on right now. Just come to the altar. Just spread out. It's enough room up here in the name of the Lord. I'm going to pray the prayer of faith. That whatever you're standing in need of, if it's healing in your physical body, healing in your mind, healing in your emotions, you may need a relationship healing, a healing in your marriage, a healing in your family. Glory to God. Your community may be under attack. Glory to God. But we are praying right now the prayer of faith that the stronghold of the enemy will be broken. And whatever the enemy has in a plan for your life. His plans are canceled and God's agenda is getting ready to take over. Glory to God. Now some of you came and you should have came on the first call but I'm praying right now that God will release his power, release his strength. As you release your faith, something is beginning to move. Glory to God. Uh, something is beginning to move in the name of the Lord. We're praying right now. We're standing on the promises of God. Glory to God. Right now, I'm getting ready to pray. I'm getting ready to pray. I'm getting ready to pray in the name of the Lord. I'm getting ready to pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on, right now, those that are standing at the altar, you took the time to get out of your seat. And I believe that you came down here with something in mind that you want the Lord to do. It is important that you receive it in your spirit. It's, a, it's important that you can imagine God making a way. For Ephesians 3.20 tells us, But now unto him that is able. Let me say that one more time. But now unto him that is able. But now unto him that is able to do exceeding and abundantly exceeding and abundantly he's going to go beyond your expectations above all above all that you ask or think according to the power that worketh within us I said the power of the Holy Spirit that worketh within us I'm wondering if those of you that are at the altar do you have enough faith to praise God in advance in the name of Jesus, I'm calling those things that be not over your life as though they were in the name of Jesus. I'm declaring right now that the enemy has not won. That the power of the enemy is broken over your situation. That every distraction, that every obstruction, that everything that's trying to intercept or deflect what God has for you, Lord God, is coming to a screaming halt. And God is about to get in your business. God is about to get in your situation and turn it around. I'm applying the blood of Jesus on your life. I'm applying the name of Jesus on your life. I'm speaking the word of God into your life. And the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. Seek and we shall find. Knock and the door and the door and the door shall be open. Glory to God. 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 Come on. We got just a few moments. I've been feeling lit. In the name of the Lord. Praise Him now. I'm declaring on this Sunday morning that the miraculous is getting ready to take place. The devil thought you were going to leave here the same way you came. But the miraculous is about to take place. In the name of Jesus, whatever you came here for, I declare that God said it's yours. That's right, you praise him. Lift your hand. Unclench your hand and begin to lift your hand and praise God and watch what he's getting ready to do. In the name of Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, praise him right now. God ain't through. He ain't through. He's not through. Come on. It's done. In Jesus' name. Right now, what? 
Get ready, hallelujah. Get ready for your advance. Get ready for your up. God going to give you direction like never before. In the name of the Lord, his instructions say that you have the victory. In the name of Jesus. You are blessed in your spirit, soul, and body. In Jesus' name. Complete the work, God. Complete the work, God. Complete the work. Complete the work. Complete it, God. God you have begun. Finish it, God. You want to be healed from the inside out? He says he knows who Jesus is. But I'm telling you right now, the power of the enemy is broken. The snare of the enemy is broken. He has victory in your life. But God said you're my son. God said you're my son. Come on, men. I need some praying men. I need some men that can get a prayer through. In the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm going to take authority in the power of the blood of Jesus and declare that restoration is coming to your body. Glory to God, to your limbs. In the name of Jesus, where you've been discouraged, the Lord said, I'm going to give you a fresh wind. A fresh wind of his glory. A fresh wind of his power. A fresh wind of his anointing. God is not through with you yet. Give God the praise in this place. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just a little. In the name of Jesus. Perpetual healing. In the name of the Lord, receive your healing. In the name of Jesus. Remove every doubt, God. Calm every fear. And let your glory, let your power, let your blood make her whole. In the name of Jesus. Completely whole. In the name of Jesus. The blood still work. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, we declare it right now. We declare it right now. Healing is in the room. Salvation is in the room. Deliverance is in the room. The power of God is in the room. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, those of you who are in the pews, rejoice at what's happening at the altar. Come on, come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's already done. 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 Come on. I believe. I believe. Come on. There's just one more praise. You got to get out. Come on. I believe there's one more praise. We're getting ready to go home. But we're going to let the devil know that we mean business. We're not backing off of what God has said. But we'll rejoice in his word. And we do declare that we've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb says you're somebody. The blood of the Lamb says you're a son of God. The blood of the Lamb says you're a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people. Show forth, show forth, show forth some praise. Show forth that God deserves the glory. Show forth that you're a winner. Show forth that every valley will be raised up. Every mountain will come down. Give God the praise. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so God is blessing this man right here the glory of God is on your life in the name of Jesus give God the praise
praise right now I need some believers to help me give God the glory because God is blessing this man right now joy is coming back deliverance is in his life right now God is giving him a divine turnaround a divine breakthrough the stronghold of the enemy is broken the stronghold of the enemy is broken in the name of Jesus stand up rejoice in the Lord always and again I say hallelujah don't you tell me that God ain't real. Don't you tell me he's not a yoke breaker. Don't you tell me he's not a devil terminator. Don't you tell me he's not a mind regulator. Don't you tell me he's not a heart fixer. I need every man that knows how to get a prayer through to pray for this man. In the name of Jesus, the joy of the Lord is our strength. We didn't come to church just to play we didn't come to church for no pop drum glory to God message we came to praise him we came to let the devil know that we got the word of God we came to let the devil know that we are the church that was born on the day of Pentecost we come to let the devil know we believe in the life the death the burial and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord come on let's praise him come on brother McNuffy come in the name of the Lord come now in the name of the Lord yes you oh glory to God as you walk I'm telling the devil that enough is enough the assignment uh, on your life uh, the Lord says uh, it's time I got it in the name of the Lord uh, the Lord said uh, I'm about to shift you uh, in the name of the Lord uh, hallelujah give him praise right now lift your hands what God has for you it is for you I want you to see what God has for you what you've been fighting, what you've been praying for. God said, trust me with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. But in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Come on, take a chance on God. Let God know that you mean business. Let God know you're his vessel, you're his and your testimony hasn't even been told yet. In Jesus' name. Praise him now. Come on. It's something that you want to do. Try God. Try God. Try God. The power of the Holy Ghost is on your life. The devil don't like it. He's trying to stop you. He's trying to steal your joy. But I say right now, God will prevail in your life. God will prevail in your situation. God will prevail in your dilemma. God said he's able. Come on, come on. Get ready to go home. I've kept you over. It's not like me, but you know how it is. When God has been good, when God has been good on this communion Sunday, before you hit the door, you better praise God in the name of the Lord because you're going to feel your strength coming back. You're going to feel your body being healed. Let me tell you, glory to God. Hallelujah. I declare it right now. I need the Lord to keep my body strong. What about you? You need to tell the devil, I got 
too much ministry in me uh, to be sick uh, oh glory to God uh, that's for you uh, you got too much ministry uh, in you to be sick uh, glory to God uh, declare your healing uh, right now uh, tell the devil uh, I got too much to do uh, to be sick uh, I got too much to do uh, to lose my mind uh, I got too much to do uh, for God uh, to bow out now uh, I got too much to do uh, to throw in the towel uh, I got too many uh, souls to witness to uh, I'm not gonna die uh, I'm gonna live uh, I'm not gonna bow out uh, I'm gonna live uh, I'm troubled uh, on every side uh, but I'm not uh, in despair uh, I'm perplexed uh, but not in despair uh, persecuted uh, but not forsaken uh, cast down uh, but not destroyed give God the praise that you're still here because you have been redeemed you're still here because you have been redeemed you haven't given up on God because you have been redeemed let the devil know I refuse to quit because I have been redeemed I refuse to give up because I have been redeemed let every believer release a praise into the atmosphere what's his name Molly what's his name Aaron Eric come on Eric keep praising God we're praising God with you, Eric. Glory to God. I'm giving the benediction right now. I can't give it in a traditional matter, but let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength, my strength, and my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. It's time to do ministry now. Y'all can go home if you want to, but I'm going to intercede for this young man's breakthrough in the name of the Lord. Come on, Eric. Give it to God right now. In the name of Jesus, give it to God right now. Every devil uh, that's coming against you, uh, I'm coming against it. Every imp, every principality, uh, every dominion, uh, Lord, I'm coming against it. Uh, every ruler of darkness uh, in high places uh, is cast off your life. Uh, and I'm applying the name uh, that sits above every name. Uh, the name uh, that sits above every name. Uh, his name is Jesus. Uh, Jesus uh, will bless Eric. Uh, Jesus uh, will heal Eric. Uh, Jesus uh, will deliver Eric. Jesus will set Eric free. See you back here on next week. I want to see this same crowd, these same people I'm looking at right now. Come next week. Bring somebody with you. But this is what it's all about. The power of Satan is being broken. He's had his mind long enough. He's had his thoughts long enough. But the power of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, is covering his body from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Come on, Eric. Give God the praise. Come on, Eric. Give God the glory. Come on, Eric. Praise him right now. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, Eric. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on. Praise him. Hallelujah. Come on. He's forgiven you, Eric. Say, Lord, forgive me. Come on. That's right. He's forgiven you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's forgiven you. He paid the price on the cross. He paid the price on the cross, Eric. As you get up, come on. Get ready to celebrate God. As you get up, lift your hands right now. Say, Lord, save me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, set me free. Come into my life. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Yeah, come on. Now call on him. Call him. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, every believer. This is what God does in the name of the Lord. This is what church service is all about. He said, Lord, forgive me. Well, the Lord has forgiven him. But now, Eric, it's time to go to the water. If you haven't been there, he's forgiven you. That's right. 
The Lord is breaking him down in the name of the Lord. The Lord is breaking him down like a jigsaw puzzle. But the Lord is going to put him back together again in the name of the Lord. Can't nobody do this but God. Can't nobody do this but God. This is the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in our eyes. Give God a praise in this place. Get rid of the guilt. Get rid of the guilt. Give the guilt to Jesus. Give the guilt to Jesus. Come on, I'm speaking to you. Give the guilt to Jesus. The guilt is under the blood. Your past is under the blood. Lift your hands, Eric. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. See Jesus hanging on the cross for you. Know that you have been forgiven. You don't have to go back to your past. God has a bright future for you. God has a bright future for you. I want to say this to you that you are not here by accident, but you are here by divine appointment. This appointment was made before the foundation of the world. God knew everything that you would do, everything that you would go through, every twist and turn in your life. But everything, everywhere you went, led you to the cross, led you to the cross, led you to the Lamb of God. His name is Jesus. And whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Come on, open up your mouth and praise him. Hold him up in the name of the Lord. Come on, open up your mouth and praise him. That's right, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come on, praise him, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Point your hand this way. Every intercessor, point your hand this way. Everyone that loves to see souls saved, point your hand this way. If you can cancel dinner for just 15 minutes and intercede, this is what God is doing in our church. I don't know what he's doing in other churches, but I know that in this church, there'll be enough word for someone to cry out, what must I do to be saved? Come on, come on, Eric. Come on, Eric. In the name of the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, you are. The Lord is making you worthy. The Lord is making you worthy. The Lord is making you worthy. Come on, come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He's forgiven you, Eric. He's forgiven you, Eric. Come on, come on. Come on, all of us were here. We didn't feel like we were worthy, but God said, come on in. We didn't feel like we had what it took, but God said, come on in. That's where he is right now. We got to bind the guilt in his life. We got to bind the past. We got to let the devil take your hands off of his mind so he can receive the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord, the devil is pulling at him. But as we pray, listen, as we pray, as we intercede, the enemy will back up. That's right. Thank him, Eric. Thank him. He's forgiven you. Now receive him. Listen, receive him. Say, Lord, come into my life. Come into my life, Lord. Come into my life, Lord. That's right. That's right. He's here. He's here. You're tired. That's right. He's, he's confessing right now. See, this is, this is what y'all got to understand. He's confessing right now. He's saying enough is enough in the name of the Lord. Come on. He said he's tired. Come on. We got to pray that God will give him brand new life. He's found you. He's found you already, Eric. He's found you. You don't have to look for him anymore. He's with you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Praise him. Hallelujah. Can you praise him with me? Praise him. Hallelujah. Every believer, come on. Begin to help him. Praise him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Say say what's in your heart. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. I need some praises. I need some believers. I need some that don't have a schedule today, but you want to see some souls saved. I need some praying deacons, some praying missionaries, some praying women, some praying men. Come on. Pray for Eric. Pray for Eric. He got to this point because God was watching him all the time, all the time. Come on. Uh. 
Hallelujah. Come on, Eric. The Holy Spirit comes in speaking. Come on. He wants to hear, he wants you to speak his language. Come on. Say what God is saying. Say what God is saying. Say what you feel in your spirit. In the name, come on, even if you don't understand it, say what God is saying to you right now. Don't you be ashamed. You don't have to be ashamed. Come on. Jesus took the shame for you. Jesus took the shame for you. Come on. Come on. You are worthy. God says you're worthy. Come on. That's what the devil is telling you. We bind the hand of the devil and we'll try to tell him that he's unworthy of the spirit of God. Come on. There's a lot going on up here. That's why I need you to pray. I can't do it all by myself, but I need some praying folk right now. Come on. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Let the Lord have his way. Let the Lord have his way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Say what God is saying. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. Now let me help, let me help the church right now. So that we know how to minister effectively. God has moved in his life in an incredible way. But God is not finished. Let me tell you what's happening here. So that everyone understands. He has to know that he's been forgiven. Or the enemy is always going to make him feel guilty and unworthy of salvation. And once he knows that he's been forgiven. Let me tell you, the Lord going to fill him with the Holy Ghost. Lord going to fill him with the Holy Ghost. But we have to pray and we have to intercede that God breaks the chains of his past. The devil is telling him he's not worthy. But we know we none of us were worthy, but God made us worthy through his grace, through his mercy, through his redemptive power. So we declare it today. We mention Eric in your prayers. Mention Eric in your prayers. In the name of the Lord, Sister Molly, make sure he gets back here. Glory to God. Bring him here. Bring him here. Because God is not through. Let me tell you, this is a miracle within itself. Glory to God. But let me tell you, more of the miraculous is coming. Glory to God. This is a babe. This is like an infant. Glory to God. That's being born. Glory to God. And we have to know, glory to God, that when a woman is pregnant, she has to push. And he has to push past his guilt. He has to push past his past. He has to push past his failures. And once he's pushed past those things, the work of God is going to have the preeminence in his life. So we got to pray, missionary. We got to pray, deacon. We got to pray, preacher. We got to pray, man of God. We got to pray, woman of God. We've already given the benediction. I want to say to Greater Refuge Temple, thank you for staying. Thank you for showing your love for a soul. The angels in heaven are rejoicing right now. God is moving. Thank you for interceding. This is a move of God. Eric has to overcome the guilt. He's saying things like, please don't forget about me. And this is many times how people feel they won't come to church because they feel like they ain't going to do anything. They've been forgotten. God has forgotten them. What they've done is so bad that God won't forgive them. And we, the people of God that have been saved, we got to pray for souls to come 
and test drive this ministry and let them know that you won't be judged because of your past. You won't be judged because of what you did. We won't try to, try to, try to change your exterior and your inside ain't changed. The glory of God is upon him. He has access to whatever he needs. He just has to trust God to receive what God has for him. He is, he is lamented to the point that he's exhausted. But when he realizes that he's forgiven, that exhaustion will turn into a fresh wind. So I thank my church. I thank God for your love and your compassion to win souls. Elder Archie, Minister Simmons are leading our evangelism ministry on Saturdays at 1245 here on the church parking lot. So I'm encouraging those of you that want to share the gospel of Jesus Christ to join them. They're passing out tracts. They're going to different areas of the city. And we want you to be a part of that evangelism movement. Greater Refuge Temple, I'm speaking by faith. We've come back strong. Amen. And we're going to get stronger. Amen. We are striving. Glory to God. And we have the strength to strive. Amen. The devil will try to take us out. Off of our assignment. Off of our focus. To please the Lord. But God is not through with us yet. Let's give God a hand praise for Eric.